I think uh, nutritious, affordable food is you know, key for our customers, but also all customers out there. And Iceland has a massive role to play here. And, and that basically boils down to frozen. You know, we were here last year, and one of the reasons we were here last year is that that message hasn't changed, and we've got to really develop it for customers. What does that mean? It means frozen food provides a really uh, value, healthy way of eating nutritiously. Now, I don't think many customers believe that yet, so we've still got a job to do to convince them of that. Uh, most people think that to eat healthily, you have to spend a lot of money. That isn't the case. So we've got an education job to, to do to make sure that people understand that if you want to put good food on the table every day of the week, you can afford to do it, but frozen food will have to play a part in that diet. So in the last 12 months, we've been doing a lot to help our customers eat more healthily. Uh, the biggest single one is our Slimming World frozen ready meal brand. Uh, it's been going for two years now. It's the biggest single frozen ready meal in the country. Um, and it's been our best innovation probably in 46 years. So we're, we're highly proud of it. Uh, but we're also really proud of the links we forged with Slimming World. Um, they operate a system whereby their members go to groups every single week and they're taught to eat healthily. And that means that you cook from scratch, you use ingredients, but their members said to them, what we need is something that helps us out at the end of the week. They resisted a frozen ready meal for a long time, we persuaded them to do it, and now the feedback we're getting is, it's really good. It allows me not to fall off the wagon at the end of the week. I don't go to the takeaway, I've got the convenience, but I know with the endorsement of Slimming World, I'm still eating healthily. And it, for an industry first, what we've done is we put the recipes on the pack. So we allow the customer to have their frozen ready meal, and then when they're on the pack, they go, oh, I can actually buy the ingredients and I can make it myself next time. And that innovation has proved to be a really big development for us. Retailers can influence what people buy, uh, so we can change our merchandising pl uh, planograms, we can put different things at checkouts, we can make sure that the flow of our shops uh, reflects what customers want to buy. To actually change their dietary behaviour is a real tough one. That means getting into their homes, that means understanding what they do with the food once they've eaten it. Just the fact they bought it does not mean that they're going to go and change their diet. We see that with the amount of food that is wasted. So again, frozen food plays a big part here. What we've done is teamed up with the University of Southampton uh, and the Medical Research Council. We have a number of our shops where we have changed the planogram. So we only put uh, fresh fruit and veg and frozen fruit and veg first in flow. We've taken away confectionery from the checkouts. But importantly, the MRC and the University of Southampton have given us access to their cohort of customers so we can actually then get into their homes and find out what they're doing as a result of that. Have they changed their diet? Are they feeding their children better things? And will it last? That's the key. So for us, it's about making sure we can set our shops up properly, but then we educate our customers to do the right thing.